Hey guys, if you want to make a sphere in SketchUp like the one you see on the screen right now, then you've come to the right video. The first thing you're going to have to do is go up to the toolbar and select the circle tool, and you're going to want to create a circle on the horizontal axis. Doesn't matter how big or small you make it, I'm just going to do 5 feet for the purpose of this video. But after you do that, you're going to select your whole circle, and then click on the move tool, and you're going to move your circle up a bit, hit control once to create a duplicate, and then continue moving it upwards so it's directly above the original. And make sure there's a decent amount of distance between the two. After that, we can zoom on to the top one, with it all still selected, and we're going to then click on the rotate tool. And once you're hovering over the origin, you can select the left or right arrow keys to select the green or the red axis. And we're going to click once, then click again, and then type 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. Now with that all done, we should have a horizontal circle as well as a vertical circle right above it. And before we make it into a sphere, you may notice that our circle is kind of pointy. The one thing that circles shouldn't be. So if you want to fix that, you can click on the edge of the circle. And under Entity Info and under Segments, you'll see that we have 24 segments in this circle. If you want to make it smoother, we can simply increase this amount. I usually like to multiply it by 3, so 24 times 3 would be 72, I believe. And you can see it instantly get rounder. Just bear in mind that the larger this number is, the more laggier your SketchUp model might be down the road. So after that done, uh, we can make sure you have this uh, Follow Me tool installed first. Or not installed, just active. So we can go to View, Toolbars, and it should be under the Edit tab. So make sure you have the Edit tab open. So we're going to click on the edge of the first circle, then click on the Follow Me tool, and all we have to do is click once on our sphere. And as easy as that, we can delete the original circle down there, and we have our sphere. If we wanted to get a little wild even, we can even add a material to it. We could even put it in a group. But that's it, that's our sphere. If this video helped you at all, remember to leave a like, and subscribe if you want to see more SketchUp content like this. Alright, see ya!